What you're about to hear is a phone interview with Marta Marimon, aeronautical and flight mechanics engineer for VTOL Technologies. VTOL Technologies was founded in 2008 with the goal of the development, subsequent sale, and operational service provision of long-endurance, lightweight, portable, beyond-visual, line-of-sight, remotely-piloted aerial systems, otherwise known as drones. Their products are targeted at network-based, linear asset industries providing a new, automated, much lower cost, and safer aerial asset inspection capability. The flagship product is the VTOL Flying Wing. Marta, first, let's talk about what were the design challenges you were facing, and then how SimScale Solutions helped. So, basically, the main challenge that we face uh, on the company is to have a reliable and accurate data on, on key aspects of the vehicle, so basically um, the aerodynamics and the propulsion as well. So SimScale enables us to, to gather this data, have uh, understand better the, the aerodynamics and, and key characteristics of the aircraft for then improving uh, its performance and increasing the range and endurance. And was there a specific project you first used SimScale solutions for? Uh, well, yeah, we have done a couple of projects. One was on, on the development of uh, ducted fans to incorporate ducted fans on the platform because at the moment it's just an open rotor. And we wanted to understand uh, what was the performance of the ducted fans in different configurations, the hover and the cruise flight. So we ran uh, several uh, sim scale simulations. And also we did another project which was to change the, a little bit the configuration of the current aircraft for we are developing the next generation, and we we changed the the configuration of the fuselage with respect to the to the wing, and we wanted to to before committing to any design modifications, we wanted to to understand what were the, the modifications and and the benefits or the disadvantages of the new configuration. So we also ran simulations of our aircraft uh, and comparing both configurations. How are you doing these simulations before using SimScale? I'm assuming that you obviously decided to go with SimScale because it represented an improvement over your previous practices. What were you doing before and how did SimScale change all of that for the better? We, we did some uh, simulations with another software, but because it was a transient uh, software, it, it was taking uh, a lot of computational time to just run one simulation. And we realized that some of the simulations um, with sim scale, we could we could run them much uh, quicker and better. Also, we didn't have some of the areas a good um, process established, a design methodology. And now with uh, sim scale, we have a proper design methodology and also a validation tool for for all these modifications and, and improvements. And I think that uh, because we are not CFD-based company, so we don't always do CFD. We basically CFD is just a tool to overcome certain problems and to, to find solutions to to these problems or to just uh, help on on the design phase. So what I think is very good of Team Scale is that it's on the cloud, and therefore we you don't need any hardware. Since we are a small company, we could not afford to to buy the appropriate hardware and all of this. So I think it's a great solution um, for our type of company that we just need to scale um, at certain stages of, of the development and we it's not only a focused CFD company. Yes, I certainly agree. Cloud computing is absolutely marvelous for saving time and reducing a company's need to buy heavy-duty workstations. That's a very important part of your story. What's next? Where do you see going with SimScale now that you've had this experience? What do you see in the future for you? Well, I think that now, as I said, since we are developing this next generation of aircraft that will enable to bring larger payloads and increase the range and endurance of, of each operation, all this development, uh, which uh, includes SimScale and uh, the tool in order to 
to go through the development. I think it will have an indirect impact on the company because we will have a much more attractive product to our customers and to our partners. And at the moment, what we are establishing as a company is, as I said before, is this uh, design uh, methodology, which includes CFD and team scale is, is key to, to our solution. Marta, I wanted to ask you more about the simulations and the simulation types that you performed. And you can choose one of the projects. And if you could tell me, for example, which type of analysis did you use? CFD, FEA, thermal analysis? Basically, in one of these projects that we wanted to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of the aircraft and we compared different configurations, we ran a set of uh, CFD analysis on the incompressible uh, regime because since this is a drone, our flight speeds are low, so incompressible is more than enough for us. So far, we have run 20 simulations with different configurations, and uh, I think that each uh, simulation took about two or three hours uh, to run with a 16-core machine. And you were asking me about the results. So, I mean, well, in general, the simulations perform well. We didn't have any issue just at the beginning, a little bit, to set up the, the mesh, but uh, SimScale support was very helpful and we could solve uh, some of the issues. But then, uh, once the mesh was uh, properly set up, the simulations were, were good and we, just, we were gathering and outputting all the forces and moments to understand also what's the actual performance of the aircraft. And do you have any results in numbers of optimizations of the calculations? Uh, yes. So basically, one of the configurations, which was blending the fuselage with uh, the wing, because at the moment, our payload bay is just under the wing. Just by this change, uh, we reduced drag around 2%, but we had an increase of lift of uh, 20%. So that was a phenomenal result we are very happy with, and that will enable us to, to improve the overall aircraft uh, performance, range, and endurance. Marta, what was your overall impression of working with SimScale on this project? Uh, very good, to be honest. I think it's, it's a powerful tool, and it's a user, uh, has a very user-friendly interface. So that was good. As I said, beginning, so we are not CFD experts. So to get into this field of uh, CFD simulations, I think that it helps. So the software in general, it's easy to, to understand quickly and it's uh, user friendly. And finally, Marta, will you be using SimScale on your next project? Well, yes, definitely. I mean, we haven't even finished uh, this next generation, so other uh, things that we would like to analyze with uh, Sima scale. So I think that uh, we have incorporated this tool into our process and development. So I think that definitely we will be using it in the future. Marta, thanks again for taking time to tell us about how your company is using SimScale. Thank you, you too. For more about VTOL Technologies, visit VTOL, that's V-T-O-L dash technologies.com. And for everything about the SimScale cloud-based simulation platform, visit SimScale, that's S-I-M-S-C-A-L-E dot com.